realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. <laughs> I can feel it in my walls. I can feel it in my veins. No matter what you do, Doc, you can't contain it. It's a force of nature. In this episode, we're doing Electro's voice from The Amazing Spider-Man. This was requested by Damien Tran Po. So Damien has said, how about an Electro voice from The Amazing Spider-Man 2? Now, Jamie Foxx is the actor that originally did this. So we're going to be making sure that our voice is deep. And we're going to put a little bit of an Electro sound in it. So some feedback coming out of it and uh, we're gonna get it as close as possible. So what I did is I jumped into Google and what I searched for was Electro's dialogue from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And in there, funny enough, if you do it, and that's with all characters, if you're ever looking for some dialogue, do a bit of a Google search and you will find some dialogue from the movie. There is certain ones, like there's a wiki page that actually deals with uh, the breakdown of all the dialogue that is in movies. And I was able to find the dialogue and I'll be reading one of the extracts from that as part of this tutorial. Now the other thing when we're doing Electro's voice, so that's obviously from Jamie Foxx, um, we need to make sure it's deep. So one other thing I'm going to do is try and put a little bit of a vibration in my throat and I'm also going to cover my mouth a little bit. So I'm going to cuff it. Another option as I've said once before is you can use a cup, a plastic cup or even a paper cup, any type of cup to just to put it in front of you to give yourself a bit of a muffled sound. And that also helps to sell some of the effects that you're doing. So we're gonna do a recording down here by simply pressing record. But before we do, we need to set up the project. So we're in Adobe's audition. We're gonna select waveform and I'm gonna call this file name Electro. And I'm gonna leave the sample rate at 44,100 Hertz, channel as stereo and the bit depth at 32 bits floating and select OK. So we're ready to record. All I need to do is press record. Um, before I do, we're gonna do a bit of a practice. So I'm gonna cover my mouth and uh, try and mimic the sound that we want to make so we can get it right before we hit record. So you do realize, you do realize you do realize. So I'm gonna try and get it really close. You do realize, you do realize you looked, locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. Electricity. So we're gonna try and put some vibration in the voice. Uh, think of it like a burp. It's a burp in the back of your throat. So it's like, ah. Uh, and you've got that sound, that little vibration. That's the vibration that I'm trying to mimic when we're doing the recording. So. Let's do it. Let's press record. You do realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. Hmm. I can feel it in the walls. I can feel it in my veins. No matter what you do, Doc, you can't contain it. And I'm going to press spacebar to stop that. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to press the space bar and play it back. Before we do, I'm going to come down to the front and highlight it and drag it across and press delete on my keyboard just to trim it like I've done there. So that way we got rid of all that space at the beginning. We can come in here as well. I'm going to drag a little bit just to bring the sound wave closer together and that will speed up my dialogue. I do know I was a little bit slow in between some of the words. So let's listen to what we've got. You do realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. Hmm. I can feel it in the walls. I can feel it in my veins. No matter what you do, Doc, you can't contain it. Okay, so I've got it pretty close, but we need to make it deeper. Again, Jamie Foxx has got a deep voice and we need to mimic that. So I'm not going to select the waveform like this. We're going to do it by simply applying the effect, which will automatically do it. However, just a little trick. Let's say, for example, I wanted to just put an effect on this waveform here. All I need to do is just highlight it and work on that one by itself. But I'm going to make sure nothing is selected in here. I'm going to come up to effects. I'm going to come down to time and pitch and select stretch and pitch. Now we're going to go from uh, the custom, uh, we're going to go down to lower pitch and you'll see it's made some minor adjustments. 
I'm going to make sure that this little button here is selected and it's green. What that means is it simply toggle loops, so it just loops the sound and keeps on doing it over and over while you're working on it. And I'm going to press play and we're going to make some adjustments to it to see if we can get it a little bit deeper. You do realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. Hmm. I can feel it in the walls. I can feel it in my veins. No matter what you do, duck, you can't contain it. So you I'm going to go negative four on the uh, semitones. Electricity. Hmm. I can feel it in the walls. I can feel it in my... And I'm just going to stop it there. Now, if I wanted to slow down the voice, now I've got it 100%. Listen to what happens when I do that. You do realize... You locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. So you can slow your voice down, or if you go the opposite direction, you can speed it up. You do realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. Hmm. I can feel what? I can feel it in my veins. No matter what. You but we're going to leave it as 100%. So that's another way of playing around the sound. So again, if your voice is not as deep as mine, um, or perhaps uh, you're a little bit younger and your voice hasn't broken yet, um, you can go in there and play around with the pitch and shift just to reduce the uh, the deepness of the voice. Um, and also you can adjust the speed. So if you're talking a little bit slower, you can actually zoom it up and make it go a little bit faster. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna select OK and that will apply the effect. So you can see it's applying the stretch and pitch and also it tells me the time remaining. So if you've got a really long sentence in there, it's gonna take a little bit longer than what we've got. But as you can see, it doesn't take too long. The next thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna just bump up the sound volume and let's listen to that. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning. You do realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. Hmm, I can feel it in the walls. Let's, um, let's just highlight that mmm, and I'm just going to come up here and just adjust the sound a little bit, just to up or increase it. Yeah, that's right. We like that. Okay. You do realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. Mm. I can feel it in the walls. I can feel... And I'm just going to come in here and just trim this bit so the speed the dialogue up a little bit. I can feel it. I can feel it in my veins. No matter what you do, duck, you can't contain it. Excellent. So we're going to apply some more effects now. We're just going to put a little bit of a reverb on there. Okay, so the next effect we're going to do is we're going to go up to effects and we're going to come down to modulation and select flanger. Once I've done that, we're going to come up to presets. Before we do, I'm going to press play just so you can hear what it sounds like as soon as we put these settings in. <laughs> So I've selected the presets Crazy Clock of Doom. We're going to start off with that as the basis for this sound effect. So again, if we listen to it, it sounds terrible, but we're going to make some adjustments so it sounds better. So first thing, let's just, uh, we're going to leave 20 as the first one for initial delay time. I'm going to go to final delay time and bump that up to 20 also. And then we're going to go to stereo phasing. Let's make that 204 percent and then we're going to adjust our feedback let's bring that down to 60 percent and let's press play and let's listen to what that sounds like no matter what you do duck you can't contain it you do realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity so we've got some nice vibrations going on there, like there's electric current going through his voice. That's exactly what we're after for Electro. Let's select Apply, and let's listen to the whole waveform, and then we'll make one more adjustment. You do realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. Hmm. I can feel it in the walls. I can feel it in my veins. No matter what you do, duck, you can't contain it. That's great. Listen to this last bit. You can't contain it. You can't contain it. You got some nice vibration going in there. Again, it sounds like a little bit of electric voice, almost like it's 
almost like when he's talking out of his voice, it's coming through a distorted microphone. And that's the whole idea with Electro. He's one of his powers, obviously, is the fact that he's got all this electricity um, in his body. Um, and that's obviously been emulated through Jamie Foxx's voice once they obviously do some modulation for the movie. So let's have a look now. And we're going to apply one more effect and we're going to go up to effects. And I'm going to come down to filter and EQ and select graphic equalizer. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to come down to presets. I'm going to drop it down, select rattle the trunk as our preset default. Select play and let's listen in and let's hear what it sounds like. Balls, I can feel it in my veins. No matter what you do, Doc, you can't contain it. You do realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. Mm. Doesn't that sound good? And that's just the basic default. Let's come in here. We're going to make some slight adjustments. Um, so I'm going to bring down the second part. So we'll leave the first one at 18. I'm going to bring the next one down just to around about uh, 14. So let's select 14 in there. And let's, uh, let's press play. I can feel it in the walls. I can feel it in my veins. What we're going to come down to the 500 channel. Let's drop that down. It. You do realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. Mm. So we're going to leave that to around about negative five. So let's just put negative five in there so it looks perfect. And we're going to select apply. Now let's listen to our Electro's voice. You do realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. I can feel it in the walls. I can feel it in my veins. No matter what you do, Doc, you can't contain it. Excellent. That is how we do Electro's voice from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. All we need to do now is save it out. So let's go to File, Save As. I'm going to leave it as Electro. I'm going to uh, leave the location as it is um, and the waveform, obviously with location, if you want to put it on your desktop or somewhere, just select browse or you can use a drop down to look at all the other history that you have. Um, we can change the format here. We can leave it as wave or MP3 to compress it. So let's do that one. And as you can see, it tells us also the sample type. You can change it if you want. We don't need to. Everything here is set to go. Select OK. And we're done. You do realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. Mm. I can feel it in the walls. I can feel it in my veins. No matter what you do, Doc, you can't contain it. You do realize you locked me in a prison that runs on electricity. Mm. I can feel it in the walls. I can feel it in my veins. No matter what you do, Doc, you can't contain it. Subscribe to the channel. To enable notifications, select the bell icon. Put a tick in the box. Select save. We'll send you all notifications from this channel. And as you can see, ring, 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 you get all notifications.